I'm Alex Adams. I'm throwing a Spanish themed dinner party tonight, so I'm gonna show you how to make a gazpacho. First, I'm going to peel and chop up my cucumber. Add in your peppers or capsicum. I love these multicolored ones from Perfection Fresh. There's hardly any seeds in there. We'll add in our spring onions. Okay, next, our tomatoes. I'm actually using tomato tomatoes. Got our two cloves of garlic. One in five grocery bags that people are buying end up in waste. So using stale bread in your cooking is a good way to reduce that. Add two tablespoons of sherry vinegar and same again with the olive oil. Add some salt and pepper. Then the fun part, get your hands, start mulching all the ingredients together. This smells so amazing. All the flavors are really fresh. Leave that to marinate in the fridge for at least half an hour. Okay, next we're gonna get our prosciutto ready. So I've taken my marinated ingredients for the gazpacho out of the fridge and now I'm gonna blitz them all together. Now the cool thing about gazpacho is it's never gonna be the same color from the last time you did it. So sometimes if you use really bright tomatoes, you're gonna get a vibrant red. Because we use the tomato tomatoes, we're probably gonna get a bit of a different color here. Add a bit of olive oil. is gonna be good. So I'm just gonna put the whole thing in the fridge and get it nice and chilled before they get here. Now it should be nice and chilled. And then we're gonna to top with some nice crispy prosciutto. So to go and make a spacho, I'm gonna do some caramelized figs with some manchego cheese and some fresh thyme. Mm. Delicious. Mm? And remember guys, we're doing this for Oz Harvest, where just $1 can go towards providing two meals for people in need. 